Hello, Internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, I know we did a lot of side quests for the last few episodes, but don't worry, this time, we're finally going to the fifth world. So, we gotta sail to the island. So, let's go down to the docks, see if anybody's willing to take us. Hey, dude. Keel Hall Key? That's the cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. Oh. Okay. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's got to be a way to just go poof and get rich. You know, poof! Oi, you! With the mustache! What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? Right then, ask me anything! I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Ooh, Keelhaw Key. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. Oh, really? Hey, this is a nice boat. This is a lovely boat. Whose boat is this? See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs out at Podwee's joint on the plaza. Oh. Well, let's see if we can borrow his ship. Aw, oh, Lumpy's still gone. I think Lumpy comes back after this world. And he'll give me a fine amount of coins. Because I donated so many. Alright. I don't suppose you have something good. Oh, oh double pain. I can afford that, sure. All right, to Podley's place. The skull captain casts his gaze. And this is the skull stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. It is so fabulous. I wish to give it great kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. I just... Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on. <laughs> Fabio is supposed to be... Spanish. I think I was giving him a French accent. I'd, I can't do a good Spanish accent, though. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more? Ah, this, that's like Norwegian. I'm sorry, I'm just giving him this voice. What is missing from my life? The tear, this tears at, tears at my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Uh... Romance, definitely. Romance, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need some romance in life. I can't roll my R's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever sweet, delectable fruit could make so many wonderful pasta sauces. Ah, no! Foolish Flavio! Not Romas, you silly man! What I need is romance! Wait, hold the horses. That is it! This is like French, Norwegian... This is like all the European accents rolled into one. Not that I am thinking of it. I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and frills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The pirate king's treasure hidden on Keelhaw Key? Ah, well, tales say that the pirate king Cortez hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Yeek! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to kill Hawkey. But that will not stop Flavio! That treasure is there, yes? And I am going to prove it. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure, here in Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure that some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no! Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? W well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kill Hawkey. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man! Well, now that I am confused, you are looking for fiends known as the Crystal Stars? 
But now that I am thinking a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard, perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash? Yes, that would be... Ah! Stop such thoughts, Flavio! What you need is romance, frills, and emotion! I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work! Flavio shall go with you to kill Hawkey. Of course, the Crystal Star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine! Huh? You must repeat that? Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man! Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious! Splendid, splendid, splendid! Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you will be captain! Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils! Come to the harbor right away! I am sorry if people hate that Flavio voice. I really don't know what voice to give him if he's supposed to be like... I figured like kind of like a fake macho voice, but he's also like... Eek! at times. I feel like that sums up Flavio nicely. Alright. This is your ship, eh, Captain? Oh, um... So who's... who's this? Who's this? Uh, pleased to meet, um, your acquaintance. <laughs> really? Oh, I, I just realized. I need to equip the Attack Epic's B badge. I got that last episode. <laughs> and now it makes the mouse sound. They call that guy Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors coming with us to kill Hall Key. I totally feel like I've seen him somewhere before, though. Maybe I'm just going nuts. Yeah, great disguise, Lord Crump. <laughs> oh, yes! I'm gonna be filthy rich! I can't wait to leave port! I feel like that's a completely different voice than I gave you before. Starboard ho! Port ho! A great giant monster blooper ho! I'm practicing my hoes. Ho ho ho! I might as well tell you, my brother went to Keohaw Key and never returned. I get woozy just thinking of it, but I've decided to work out my courage and sail there. Good for you. I... I always dreamed of the day I'd leave this town. I don't care if there are pirates or ghosts or undead vampires where we're going. It's gonna be worlds better than this stinkhole. At last, my dreams will come true. I'm gonna open my very own shop on Keohaw Key. I don't care if it's small and ramshackle. It'll be mine! I just have one slight worry. Keohaw Key is a deserted, cursed island. You think I'll get much foot traffic? Probably not. Ah, yes. So it is you, ah. Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship! She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, my queen of, of countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts the, to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, tops some on sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, yes? Did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off, the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now here is the real problem. The waters around Kilhawk Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch! You could solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I have a talk of a famed... No, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Barbary, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Nice pun. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen oh, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Basa boom! Problem solved! Let us scout out this Barbary fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everybody, does it not? No complaints! Aye, aye, sir! Aye, aye, aye! Sounds fair, sir! On board! Good plan! Sure thing! Then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you! Alright. <laughs> 
So basically, Bobbery is going to live in Eastern Rogueport. There's one house that we can't go in. That's his house. But we can find a way in, I'm sure. Richard, 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 Richard. Yep, this house right here, it's locked from the inside. That's his house. No, not Miss Mouse. I forgot I had her. Goombella. Oh, actually, shoot. Still need the Yoshi. Yep, this chimney here. What do you blokes want? You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of a gent. Take your search elsewhere. Now away with you! Also, if we go back here... Shine Sprite! You sure, dude? You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. That's a bob -omb sailor. The workers at the dock say he's some kind of legend. I heard he was stubborn, but who knew he'd give us this much trouble? Seriously. It'd be nice if Professor Franco could tell us something about him. Well, Franco's office is right next to us, so... Blech. Blech. Open the door! <laughs> Bobbery, that old sea dog lives in the east side house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Alright then. I think you can also go to the inn. Like Podwee's place and talk to Podwee. Admiral Bobbery, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now if you please. Don't play dumb with us. We already were told that you are Bo Admiral Bobbery. Humph! <laughs> what puppycock. Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But, look, we're begging you here. You totally have to. You're the only one who can guide our ship to Keohaw Key. This is serious stuff. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. Darn, what do we do, Mario? That guy doesn't seem too stoked to come with us. Know what I wonder, though? Why is he all weirded out about the sea anyway? We ought to find someone who knows this guy and find out what his malfunction is. Now we're going to Podwee's place. Remember how it said Podwee's been, like, he's really old and he, like, knows everybody in town? Well, maybe he can tell us about Bobbery a little bit. Ouija. You say Bobbery won't go out to sea? Huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keohol Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying. But I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery... His eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived, and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. 
He has never gone out to sea since. That's the saddest tale I've ever heard in my life. No wonder. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Very well. I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. We got an old letter! The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. You didn't give this to him?! What kind of a terrible person are you?! <laughs> on her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so, she, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thanks, Podly. And don't beat yourself up for this. We'll deliver the letter. Come on, Mario. Oh, yeah. Still, that's like a jerk move. I mean, it's not as bad as me when I play Harvest Moon, but, you know. <laughs> that's still a little blow. Who doesn't give a guy a letter, like, the last letter that their wife wrote before they died? Like, who would do that? Hey, Bobbery. What? Oh, my Blaverton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now I'll wait with you. I, I feel like I should give Bobbery a new Dumbledore voice like, Harry, did you prefer him to cover a fire? <laughs> Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? What? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, that I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this... I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You were the one with the sea, as you were one with me. A thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? This music. Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe? Bound for Keelhole Key? Yeah. Hmph! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off! Admiral Bobbery! Awesome! Yeah! The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Yes, I love keeping Goombella as my partner. Also, how many Shine Sprites do I have? I have six Shine Sprites. Yeah, I'm actually not using them on Miss Mouse. Not yet. Mailbox SP from Petuni. Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm a good. No, very good. No, great. Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. I do wish you'd come back to play sometime. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place nobody's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun! I'm jealous. Wow, it's almost like she knew. Well, if you ever have time to come back here, come play with me, okay? You have to promise! From Petuni. <laughs> and look, it's her with the Mystic Egg. Nice. Oh, also... That's a lot of stuff I have. But that's okay. <laughs> While I was reading my email, Bobbery was hard at work inspecting the ship. <laughs> oh, also, I need to adjust my badges a little bit. Quake Hammer is really not going to be helpful in this world. Like, at all. Hmm. 
<laughs> Unsimplifier? Nah. I knew you would get Bobbery on board, you wonderful mustached man, you... To you, I must say ahoy! I was wise to choose you as my captain. Ahoy to me as well! <laughs> My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, let's shove off. Very well, to the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for frills and emotion. And romance and money. Our destination is Dread Keelhaw Key. Wait up! Love this panoramic scene. This is X not one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X not one here. Over. Roger. Reading you five by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard a vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board that vessel. Leads us into chapter five. The key to pirates. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Month star, day XO. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. <laughs> this is a cool panoramic scene as well. Month star, day XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. Month star, day X note. Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays, boom basa boom festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three times red stash lands on his end, blue stash's belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom. At the Boom Basa Boom Festival. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh ho ho, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. I had the base licked, for I am Flavio. He was a giant, massive, a huge drink of man-eater. But even now, you know, I could take him, yes. Er, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, but even then I smiled. Great. He started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt his mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too. Uh, why is the... What? Wait, what is going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio! Awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. Ah, stopped. You say to me after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm, so take care of it. Oi, aye, aye, Flavio. I'll get on it right quick. Wait a tick. <laughs> well, that's disconcerting. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stop moment, you scallywags. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. <laughs> the 
the, the, they're here! What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Oh. Oh. No, they're upon us! The pirate ghosts! Well, them rumors were true! Uh, uh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! D -d -d do not panic yourselves! This is just a dream that we are all having awake! D -d now, c -c quickly move the boat! Oh! Oh! Ghost the Ukidvin! Are you really the savage pirate king? Help me! Buck up now, everyone! Remain civilized! Relax! Don't panic! Relax, 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 I say! You simply must take it easy! Uh, what? Roar! Excuse me! Listen, everyone! If we could all form an orderly line without shoving... Forget that! Make a path! Bobbery! Look alive, my honey! You must get out of here! Abandon ship! Every rich, rich, marvelous merchant for himself! <laughs> well, that's simply one of the most exciting parts of the game right there. Month star, day X star, fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly fiend. What happens to us now? Ah! We may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. Month Star, Dayak's Heart. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty fiends. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? Month star, day circle circle. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flavian. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no had no sign of Bobbery and the others, and my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Month star, day OX. Three days on the island now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Welcome to Q Hockey. Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest in. Come have a look. Well, welcome to Q Hockey. It's kind of similar to Lava Lava Island. Not quite as good, but still a very fun one. Start piece right there. Alright, also, a special thing we can do over here... You remember Wacka, right? Waku! I'm Wacka! We've got some good weather today, right, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today, wacka do. That's a rare Wacka. I don't think you see many of his kind anymore. Nope. If you Wacka Wacka, they drop a Wacka bump. Those are supposed to be delicious. They fetch a high price in gourmet auctions, too. Yep, super precious delicacies. Still, whacking a defenseless creature to get one. You never do that, right, Mario? Bonk! <laughs> whack! Ow! Don't hit me! I had to. We got a whack as bump, a lump of something. It replenishes 25 HP and 25 FP. One of the best cooking ingredients as well. You can make one of the best recipes in the game by cooking one of those with a golden leaf. Captain, please help us! Flavio and Papatch are in a huge fight. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Wait. Wait one moment. Did... Did you just call the great Flavio fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why, you little cyclops! Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oi, that's right, fine by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy frids. 
They're here! k k cam stash Them ghosts are back! So they are. M uh, mario front and center This is an order! Take care of the ghosts! Well, we've seen variants of these in the Pit of 100 Trials, so it can't be that bad. These are embers. Oh great, fog, and that's falling. Well, might as well tattle. That's an ember. Sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. Max HP is 8, attack is free, and defense is 0. Of course, since this faint is a flame, touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Looks like it's susceptible to ice or explosive attacks, though, so that's something. If you get hit by a flame attack, you'll catch fire, so try to guard well. <laughs> nice try. Look at that. Alright, we're gonna need Koops for these guys, because he's the only one who can actually hurt them. Without damaging himself in the process. Or I guess Yoshi can as well if you gulp him. Hey, these guys give me two star points a pop, though. That's pretty nice. That's a deadly attack. That can burn both of you if it hits. Goodbye, Ember. Embers are like the lava bubbles we saw in the Pit of Hunter Trials, they just have more HP and less attack. Yes! You're a bloomin' beast, Camstash! Too early to celebrate, no? There are sur surely more of them elsewhere, ah? Eh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes! That is what must be done. As leader of this expedition, I of course should stay here. On this, I broke no argument. Ah, yes, of course! Mario, perhaps you can handle the exploration of the island. Can do. That is my boy! I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, Star Piece back there. Yes, please. Also, there's a nice little shop here. Nice thing it sells ice storms. We're gonna need those for recipes, but they're also quite expensive. But fire flowers are quite cheap. So are fright masks. And honey so Wow, there's a lot of cheap stuff in this shop. I forgot. This guy did get to open his shop. How nice. I'm depositing my wackus bump. Should probably deposit a few other things as well, like. Actually, no, none of these items are all that good. <laughs> I will keep them. <laughs> Alright, I think that's going to be all the time we have for this episode. I'm going to collect this star piece right there, and then bid you all adieu. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be exploring the island of Kiyohalki, fighting some enemies. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.